Hi, Alex. Uh, hi, Vinny. So here we are, taking a, a game. <laughs> we're taking a look at a game called Lisa. Mm -hmm. uh, through Steam, it's like ten bucks. Uh, this game is really weird. I think it was a Kickstarter. Actually, I'm sure it was a Kickstarter. Well, judging by the look on that dude's face, yeah, yeah there's uh, something. He's holding a baby. But I was talking about the other guy. Oh, that the, guy. The, the, giving you the eternal side eye there. So let me let me kind of set up what happened. This is not this is very early on in the game. I just kind of skipped through some of the very early stuff. So we do have a little more story to go. The game starts off with you as a kid. There's some like abusive situation stuff going on, but then it turns out. You, you fast forward to this, and it's like the apocalypse. Okay, so somewhere between your abusive childhood and now, bad things Bad happened. things have happened. I just... Worse things, even. I was taking some drugs, and mm -hmm. then I found a baby. Okay? And now I have this baby in my hand. I've had that happen. And I'm going back to this camp here. Okay. Okay? Yeah, this is a relatable experience for me. What is... Uh, my character's name is Brad. Okay. Did you did you put that in? No. Or is, okay. <laughs> that is... So apparently in this post-apocalyptic future, mm -hmm. there are no women. Oh. Uh, so the idea of childbirth is probably a, thing, right? a, a very terrifying thing at this point. Right. <laughs> Dudes. <laughs> They're all making their serious face yeah. now. Mm. It's a girl. What is up with your dude's uh, Grizzly Adams look? He's got some look? hair. What's yeah. wrong with his hair? Oh, well, nothing wrong. It's just he just he just has a lot of it. All these these folk are, are clean shaven. <laughs> So he wants to go tell, like, the bandit leader. The bandit leader's name is Rando. Mm -hmm. That's pretty funny. The Rando army. The Rando army. Oh, boy. All right. And he doesn't. Brad would like to keep and raise the baby. Right. He doesn't care. He's going to keep the baby. seems like a completely reasonable approach. I mean, if it's one thing I've, I've learned from, uh, you know, things like Children of Men and yeah. The Last of Us is that... Nobody ever finds Never that. trust anyone ever because they are all out for their own horrible sure. ends. But also, secrets always stay hidden, right? Yeah, obviously. Like, nobody will ever <laughs> find out what's, what's actually happening here. Uh, so we're going to get a little bit of story, a little montage here of... Uh, a little buddy, the baby buddy, okay. uh, growing up. So your bros here are, are perfectly happy to uh, to help you out with this yeah. this process. And when I was holding my hand is a drug called Joy, okay? Mm. And uh, I apparently am a joy addict. Okay, so my buddy's there. They're downstairs. We're all building a secret lair because, mm. you know, you want to raise your kid in a cave. I mean, that is to my understanding. I mean, that's roughly how I was raised. So. <laughs> right, underneath. And I turned out great. Yep. Wandering the Waste. Man, this is incredibly moody. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's my dad from uh, ages ago. He seems like he's been having some fun. <laughs> well, it's a vision. Yeah. Uh, that's me deciding whether I should go face my demons in my dad or take the drugs. Yeah. I took the drugs. That's... This game... All right. Fast forward... Many years later, Buddy is now older. Girl, you have become a woman soon. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, she's like, yeah, I'm going to go outside because I'm a human and I like to go outside. And Brad, older Brad, yeah. is like, yeah, you can't go outside. Now looking as much like the lead singer from Jethro Tull as, <laughs> as imaginable. Could, yeah. yeah. Uh, this is a documentary on, on Jethro Tull. Uh, we have to go fight Aqualung. So Brad, Brad's a good guy. Brad's an okay guy. Brad's kind of a miserable man. Yeah. I mean, he's wasting a lot of drugs, which is well, he's just profoundly threw, uncool. He threw the drugs away. He's like, you know what? No more drugs. Here, let's go outside, but first, put this weird mask on. I made you something. <laughs> this creepy mask. 
man, all of this is really unnerving. And then we can go outside. Now we can enjoy life together. Yeah. This I, I cannot foresee a situation where this would all go terribly wrong. Oh, it's, it's everything's fine. Yeah. Oh, uh, they're like, she's like, oh, I'm mean, gonna play dress up. We're gonna put makeup on you. To be fair, for a really fucked up premise, this is really sweet. Yeah, and then they're like, oh, we'll put makeup on everybody. We're having great times. Brad goes for a walk. He goes to his place. His dad place. His place, he just, he can't really deal. So is the dad real? Is he no, really I, there? I don't think so. Okay. So here's where things get cut up. Oh. Mm. Wait a minute. Mm. Brad is trouble. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely getting that vibe. Now you're not controlling it. Not this yet. is all no, cutscene. No. Okay. I, I kind of wanted to show some of this because I, I, I think it, it does set the tone up. Right. Like, there's a lot. If you just jumped into the gameplay, you might not get kind of how messed up a lot of this stuff is. So I think that's Brad looking for the drugs that he dumped over the side. So Brad's kind of zoned out, right? Just popping gleaming X like it ain't no thing. <laughs> it's joy, man. Yeah. Okay. Oh? Huh? This guy. Oh, there's a puppy. Yeah. Now we're gonna start getting Oh, please don't it. tell me something bad happens to the puppy. I don't want that. It's not a puppy, it's a wild beast, okay? Okay. <laughs> we gotta fight this dog. You ready? Hang on, I'm just enjoying this soundtrack. Oh, the, the soundtrack immensely. is fantastic. I don't know why this has become like <laughs> early '90s hip hop, but I am in it's no great, way right? mad about it whatsoever. So I'm gonna employ my Armstrong style, and I'm gonna fight cheese legs. All right. So uh, with Armstrong style, I'm gonna lower it down a little bit. You got, uh, I'm using a controller here. His but, name uh, is Brad Armstrong. Yeah. I believe that was the name of a, a professional wrestler from the 90s. I'm not well, kidding. so there you go. Maybe, again, a documentary. So I can just type in stuff here. Or use the controller. Okay. Is there like a, a turn limit? Like how many times you can attack per turn or? Uh, yeah, you got, I think it's like five or six times I can type stuff in. Okay. Uh, but eventually, I will get um, combos. I'm gonna decrease the gain on this a little bit. Something might be clipping. Yeah. So enjoy this music just for a second here, while you can. Oh, it's real good. I forget who does the music. But it is somebody known. Okay, hopefully that works a little bit. Yes, yeah, so still hear it. Okay. Probably almost done here with the doggy. Dog's got plenty of health. <laughs> Way to go, dog murderer. There's cheese likes. Brad doesn't seem happy. I mean, Either way. would you? No. But this guy coming up, I hate. Mm hmm? No. 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 Terry Hintz is he's the lord of the tutorial. Okay. Who made this? Oh, I forget. Terry wants to come with us. Whether you want him to or not. Yeah. Terry came with us. God, that song. Holy shit. Oh, all right. Can you pick these bottles up? What can you do with them? I can put stuff in them or I can throw them at people when I fight. Or make fire bombs with them. Yeah, that's, that's what I would do. Thanks, Terry. Crow lets me save. I'm gonna save over here. Terry's gonna tell me about that. His name changes on every hint, which 
which I actually really like. He's he's an unreliable character. <laughs> Terry kind of sucks. Yeah, I'm kind of getting that. Oh, ter <laughs> ter bear. <laughs> I don't know, maybe there's something endearing about the guy. <laughs> that sweet terror wine. The music changes, things go poorly. Oh no. Things things don't go well in Brad's world. I mean, it seems like a, oh. a real a real troubled world. Oh, that's all right. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Yep, buddy's gone. Oh man! What about your other buddies? Where are they? Well, I mean, buddy the baby. Oh no! I mean, yeah. Okay, come with me. <laughs> I mean, did he ever really leave? <laughs> no, not really. Okay, he's dead. Let's do it. And, oh man, so they're all... He's dead. They're all dead. They're all dead. That guy is especially dead. He's dead. This guy... He's not doing well, but at least I got a knife. I don't actually know how to equip the knife. I was never able to do it, so I'm not sure if... Uh... Maybe it's not something you use as a weapon? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, is that... Nobody ever equipped it. So, at least the party members I got. And apparently there are a lot of party members. Okay. Off we go. So I take it your, your goal now is to find the person... The person yes. that you have lost. Yes. But follow the blood. Whoa, no. Oh, yeah. There was no balloon there to stop me. And that's Lisa, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's okay. Really you weren't you weren't too far away from a thing. From a crow? Yeah, so okay, so give me an idea. Like what what's the gameplay generally like here? Uh you kind of saw a lot of it with a dog. Mm -hmm. Um let me grab this. Um, it's like RPG. Yeah. It's like a weird side scrolly RPG uh, with a lot of dialogue and uh, I think. Oh, that guy doesn't look friendly. Buster punches. Maybe it's the fact that he's drenched in blood and has a giant blade that is. All right, you ready? Yes. So, what does Terry bring to the table? You'll see. You'll see Terry's amazing attacks. Walter Stingray. <laughs> <laughs> so Terry brings nothing to the table is what you're saying. <laughs> Terry has uh, motivational skills, okay? He, he can like give me a little health back. All right. Mostly he just fall, fall, falls down. Yeah, I don't think he's got got what you need here. Luckily, I'm pretty badass. Does this guy have a health bar, or is no. there anything that indicates? No. Okay, so you don't know how long you're gonna have to keep. It, it's he's not so bad. Terry is crying. There are a lot of status effects. Uh, eventually, I had to look up uh, what they meant. So let's uh, let's get a little cheer. Yeah, Terry. You're, you're, you're just an amazing asset to the team. You know, he's doing his best. He is trying. I mean, he got scared away by a puppy earlier and pulled his H string, so... Cheese legs? Maybe he's not really, uh... Not the fighting type. We got him. And he gave a level. And I got six magazines. This guy, uh... He didn't make it. He didn't make it. Yay! What so, the hell? Yeah, I don't really... Uh, the, the story is weird. Yeah. 
Well, you've made it a little further than yes. this. But not enough to understand exactly what's going on. There are, basically what I've gathered is there are a lot of dead people. <laughs> I feel like this probably isn't going to last very long. Come on, Terry, you got this. <laughs> I like, the game is so weird. Yeah. But I'm kind of into yeah. what level of weird it's putting down. It's, it's like it's dark in a way that is whimsical. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of go not so much exploring, but uh, try and move forward here. Yes, that's what I'm gonna call it. It's it's whimsy whimsical, dark. whimsy dark, oh, whim whimsy dark. Yeah. Don't want to fall. You do take fall damage. <laughs> We will fight the Sugar Boy Drifters at some point. Look at that. Ooh, oh. shadows, lighting effects. All right, this battle is actually a little tougher. Let's see if I have anything on me to heal up before I go. Let's eat some jerky. The mystery jerky? Yeah, you know, uh, so what happens to your like your party members if they they run out of HP? Like do they, they get knocked out? Okay, but they don't like die. No. Sugar Mountain. That's his name is Sugar Mountain. Mm -hmm. Oh, he actually he actually did damage that time. And then and then the bad guys get confused at how stupid that is. Yep. The music is just, I love it. It is, it is terrifically odd. This game's like 10 bucks, but I think you can buy it with the, uh, the, with soundtrack. the soundtrack for yeah. like 15 or something. So it's almost like you're doing a stun attack. Totally. Get him, Terry! Oh, I messed it up. Bust the punches. Move this guy, yeah. Well, that was easy. Yep. Sugar Mountain goes down. Okay. Here, this is one of my favorite moves. Ready? Oh, wait, that's not it. There, they're dead. Nothing happening there. Go to the just, just corpses everywhere. Yeah, that guy. Like, he's not getting up. No. Mm hmm. Is anybody in this world still alive? I got hit by a truck. Yeah. And I suffered some serious damage. Apparently this is the kind of apocalypse where combustion engines still work. So these guys are older versions of the bullies that bullied me when I was a kid. Oh. Now I got a six scar. Oh, is it revenge time? I'm just gonna start opening every conversation that way. <laughs> yeah. On a little deer. On a little deer saying howdy motherfucker. <laughs> so you're making your PAX entrance this yep. year? Yep. What do you think? What do you have? What what belongings do you have? I don't have too much. But Terry is kind of It's Terry. Yeah, it's Terry. I don't know. Hmm. <sighs> Terry kind of sucks. 
Well, I'll tell you what, I, I saved Terry the last time I played. Uh -huh. Has so, he come in handy at all? He's all right, but should we give up Terry? Yeah, give up Terry, what the hell? Man, these guys. Oh, so they don't actually kill, kill Terry right away, huh? Maybe I can go save him later. Well, I'm glad I did that for my one magazine I had. That was, you know, it's issue of Harper's Bazaar. It's Malmo, good reading. Ugh. Well, that's gross. That was remarkably unpleasant. I hope that washes off. Hi, right, guy. You yeah. still got your bottles, so yeah. you, can, you can have some soup. See, it was totally worth oh, yeah. it. Yeah, for some beer bottle soup. Should we take a rest? Yeah, why not? Oh, back it up. Fun fact about me, anytime you say, hey, you want to rest? The answer is yes. You want to take a rest? Rest yes. here? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Should we go outside? Sure. Guy's still making soup. So last time I came outside, that guy was dead. Oh. And I got beamed in the head and lost a whole bunch of damage uh, permanently. Maybe because you allowed Terry to be taken? Well, no, no, outcome? last time I saved him. Well, that's what I'm saying. Maybe because this time you oh, let Terry be know. taken. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Well, that guy looks like trouble over there. Yeah, no, he's definitely not up to anything. Let's do this. That's a that's a troubling thing to scrawl in blood. <laughs> mm hmm. Nice shot. Thanks. Great job. You killed Randy Savage. Yep. Yeah. Real shame what happened to him. So now you just kind of start exploring, right? Yeah, just kind of seeing what's available to you. What, yeah. Can you? Could you have gone into that that spot? Yes. Well, he does have a thing sticking out of his back, which is not encouraging. Weird how all the other corpses are still lying around, but that one's gone now. He was anyone on the other side of the truck. I don't understand this world. Yeah, the I'll, I'll give it this: the the dialogue and just just the humor of it is distinctive. Uh huh. It is uh, it is very much its own thing. Uh, the, the description of this game is like, it's just miserable. Yeah. Like this is a miserable world. I think it literally says like a miserable man's journey. Uh, let's uh, let's journey through here. Okay. I'm gonna choose some doors I haven't cho chosen yet. Yo, it's very dark in here. I had Terry with me, so it was a, I was felt a lot better last time. That thing's got eyes. Uh -huh. I like the bust of punches. Uh, I did find a. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh man, you've got plus weird. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I kind of had to look up uh, what some of this stuff was. Yeah. I never really got a great answer because there are a lot of status effects. It looks like weird, it, like diminished your attack ability. Like your last few hits did considerably less damage than before. Oh, At least I don't seem weird anymore. No, you're weird again. Yeah, weird. 
Uh, you also have a joy addiction to that drug. Right. And that can show up, and then you have to take more joy. What happens if you don't take joy? Your, your stats suck. Uh -oh. You like, don't even hit. This looks, looks good, right? I mean, they're not. I should just keep walking, right? You should definitely just keep walking. Oh. <laughs> Last time I went back to fight him, or I went back yeah. and I had to fight him, but I didn't have that big guy with me. All right. I cannot escape. Alex, this might be the end for well, Brad let's, Armstrong. Let's see what happens to Brad Armstrong here. Let's try and stun him. I mean, you gotta fight. So you have to fight all five of these guys individually? Yep. Oh, that's not promising. I mean, that stupidity thing just happens. Oh boy. Yeah, that that kind of you just kind of got wasted a lot. It's done. Okay, that's, I don't know if I have. You have jerky, I think, still. Got this bottle of soup. That didn't do anything. I didn't take it yet. Brad Armstrong was defeated. I don't know how you're supposed to actually win that battle. I don't think I'm supposed to be there yet. Uh. Like, like you've you perhaps you've you ventured in the wrong direction. Yeah, I'll load up my other save here with Terry, just while we have it on the menu. Um, so like I've explored some of these other doors. Okay, uh, we'll go on this one, and then uh, I think we'll call it. There are, are definitely battles I've run into where mm -hmm. I don't know how you're supposed to win. That guy looks forlorn. Just, just so much spite going on in this world. Yeah, it's not also a good world. your HP is down to two right now. Yeah, yeah, I'm not doing well. That and that's my joy addiction there. Yeah. Well, let's just throw a bottle at him and die. You're dead now. <laughs> I hope you're happy. <laughs> it looks kind of like a Ron Jeremy looking dude. A little bit. The music is is fantastic. It is. Yeah, and just in general, I I actually kind of dig. The What's vibe of what this game is doing. Yeah, it it's weird. And it's like, I mean, it's freaking dark. Like, yeah. The game opens up pretty dark. And I, I skipped over it in the very beginning because, you know. It's like someone made a whimsical RPG out of the road. I mean, like, look it's at this just... start, continue screen. Yeah. Like, not not a lot of good stuff happening here. No, no. Um, but anyway, that's Lisa. Um, again, I think it was a Kickstarter uh, and now is on Steam. $10, you can get the soundtrack also. Uh, for a few more bucks. I am I am fascinated by what they have done here, if nothing else. <laughs> Thanks, Finny. <laughs> You're welcome, Alex. Thank you.